All right, YouTube. So today, I'm here with my brother. Hello. Uh, so we're gonna be changing the oil. Um, I'm still waiting on my POR to come in for the gas tank. Uh, so while we're doing that, we're gonna change the oil. I also realized yesterday after cleaning that there's a bunch of hoses I'm probably gonna have to buy. Uh, all whatever this whatever connect. So the carbs here, I've got to get the right diagram. I was on Moss Motors earlier today at work, and I, uh, I just didn't get, I was, I didn't have enough time during lunch to look at what parts go there. So I'll do that tonight, hopefully before bed. I just see a whole bunch of connectors where there's no, no, look like that, uh, look like vacuum lines. But uh, I also don't know what this hose goes to. Most pictures show it kind of going this way. I just don't see. What it connects to so if anyone knows feel free to get throw in a shout out uh and we'll uh, but we're gonna get started on the soil change and uh let's see what we're working with here oh yeah it's a little messy down here so we're gonna wipe some of this off and we'll uh we'll take that we'll go ahead and drain this thing and uh get our oil swap going way back there can you even see it yeah all right here's to be a three quarters Go ahead and start loosening her as soon as we get this thing. Oh man, it's already like hand loose, so I'm just gonna hold on. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Oh, fudge. that's brand new oil. It's good. Yeah. Looks like the oil's in uh, really good shape. Holy cow. Makes me feel really good about uh, the internals of this vehicle. I haven't seen any crud or particulate come out at all. So we'll see what happens here as, as it drains all the way. That's good. Yeah. I'm guessing the uh, previous owner might have immediate might, might have put it in there prior to putting it in storage, <sighs> just for uh, preservation. So it's a good idea. All right, YouTube. So we're trying something new here. Uh, the top filters are seem like just they're such a bad idea. So we're gonna try to capture it in this bag, all the oil. It should fall to the bottom, which I poke some holes. Hopefully enough, we'll poke a couple more. We should take it safely down into the pan without making a gigantic mess. Let's see what happens. Up. That's a good question. That's a good point. It might not be. In which case, we'd be saved. Yeah. This looks like a. It's probably a brand new filter. Uh, yep. I don't know. No, there's some there's definitely it, oil in it. It didn't and puke it out. Puke it's, out. So it's, it's just pulled up right there. Yeah. Well, we should probably put something behind it. Finger. Filming. Yep. Some on the gasket. Let's just hand tighten her down. Mustang sounds good. Yeah, he's got SLP exhaust that I found for him and recommended. Just to, yeah, just hand tight. That's what it's supposed to be. All right, and I'll pull out her bag and see how much of a disaster we have. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, I put it over here for purpose. Hmm. Not terrible. Nothing mm. on the starter. Nothing everywhere. So yep, yeah, that worked. Pretty excited about that. The bag method. There you go. So we're putting the cap back on. There we go. And tighten it. No, oh, I'm not going to get it. How much further do I have? Um, keep going. I think I'm there. Yeah. All right. Next. 
add the oil. Right here. Uh, I should yeah. turn it off. All right, so as everybody was recommending, I got casserole 2050. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah. I'll have my brother pour three and a half quarts in. I have an oil cooler and it looks like there was still some oil on the line. Probably should have drained it. I didn't, uh, it was very clear though. So I'm not terribly concerned. Uh, there's no, you can't really quite grasp how clean this oil was cause it was this uh, drain pan was sitting outside and full of crap. But there was nothing coming out of this. Uh, this engine is in, seems like it's in great shape. Pour a little bit at a time. All right, slow down. What? Yep. Get about halfway. I'll check. Quartz. One and a half left? No, we are. We put in one. All right, let me make sure we're not leaking or anything. Cause that would suck. All right, we appear to be good. I don't want any leaking. Hold on. What? It's seeping from. Uh oh. Gasket. Well. I knew we'd have to replace something, so it's uh. I'm not putting it in anymore. Yeah, let's wait. I have a little issue. We're leaking around here. We'll see, right, guys. So, I took the valve cover off. I don't have another valve gasket. I'm gonna have to buy one. I don't know how long it's gonna take it to come in, but uh, basically, it looks like we got uh the one that's on here is just not cutting it. No, uh, it was. It's where it's getting leaked by it's right leaking. here. Yeah, it's the front of the engine. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to order another one. Um, I would continue to pour the oil. I just don't want to make a mess. Push rods look good. Except for that one. Matthew? What? Yeah, push rod, that's off. Alright, well, hold on. We'll mess with it. Alright, guys, so the issue I was just seeing here was this, yeah, this right here. Why is that bad boy moving around? It'd be up. Uh, yep, it's trying. Some. That looks like it might work. All right, I think I'm good. Do a little bit of a valve adjustment. Nope, again. Anybody know what would cause the push rod to fall and how to adjust it? Uh, any advice would be greatly appreciated. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if my little adjustment here on that bolt helped at all. All right, guys. So we're not having a lot of success here. The uh, what I tried to do is just grok it down from the the valve cover. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, Another valve cover gasket. Uh, it's definitely leaking. Um, so what we're doing is we're just getting oil in the engine right now, and we'll address that after we uh, get the oil in the engine. So we're gonna go ahead and finish adding our oil. Go ahead, and then uh, probably smoke some cigars and just kick back, honestly. So uh, Stan, we're gonna we're gonna finish this up, and we'll hit you guys up in a minute. All right. So a special shout out. 
to my brother. Uh, came over, helped me out here. This oil change was a little more painful than we thought. Um, at least happy that the oil that was in the engine was in fantastic condition. Um, the valve, the valve gasket, I've ordered another one, so no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a few more extra parts off of uh, Moss Motors. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably get the, uh, the the seal for the bolts on the top of the valve cover. I'm gonna get another one of those. They were really dry and uh, they were cracking us. I don't want a piece of plastic falling in the motor. So I'm gonna take care of that. Um, but other than that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piece the, together a, uh, a missing parts list uh, off of uh, Moss Motors tonight and uh, hopefully in the near future be able to, you know, install all those parts that are missing on, on the engine. Um, a bunch of little hoses coming off the carb, carbs, uh, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. Uh, but and another thing with the valve gasket, at least I have uh, some more content for you guys. So stay tuned. Uh, another thing, another video we'll be doing here coming up in June. My brother will be a part of as well. Uh, we're going to be going to the American uh, Muscle Car Show up in Pennsylvania. Uh, my brother has a 2007 Mustang GT. And my father also has an 07 Mustang California Special GT. And uh, so we're going to be convoying up there to the American Muscle Car Show, which will be a, a nice little show for everyone. So appreciate you guys tuning in, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.